everyone, Jeff Lee here at Cine Gear 2023, back at the Paramount lot. We're super excited to be back uh, at the Able Cine booth. We are actually uh, featuring a couple of different themes this year. So when we spoke last time, we were doing in, in Brooklyn, actually in our home, in our backyard, we were focusing a lot on cinematic multicam, which of course is still a big theme for us this year. There's a couple of new tools that we're happy to show you, but we're also focusing on tunable optics. So we do have a whole section dedicated to the tribe lenses. We have three identical cameras, all shooting the same scene, all the same focal length, but actually with distinct tuning options and possibilities. So that's really exciting. Um, but again, cinematic multicam has really been a really big push for us. So between all the various equipment, new cameras we have here, we have the new uh, Fujinon Duvo lens or 25 to 1000 millimeter box lens, Super 35, which is very exciting. The Panasonic AK PLV100, which is a Super 35 ENG format camera. So it looked really familiar to a lot of the ENG OB truck folks but it's actually a uh, Super 35 sensor, uh, very reminiscent of the Vericam look, which we all love, and that's really exciting to have here in our booth as well. Of course, the Alexa 35 is here. We also have a new partnership announcement with Multidyne. We are now their new platinum partner for the United States. So products like the Silverback Ape or SB Ape, which is a 24 volt power solution. We're also really excited that uh, this is, we just announced a few days ago that we are now Multidyne's exclusive platinum partner uh, for a lot of the broadcast solutions that they bring to market. So we, as part of that announcement, we have things like the new Silverback Ape or SB Ape, which is a 24 volt solution for cameras such as the Alexa 35. As cameras increase their power consumption requirements, uh, the SB8 allows us to operate those cameras just like we would with the more classic 24, uh, sorry, 12 or 14 volt cameras, but now with the higher voltage requirements uh, with cameras such as the Alexa 35. Uh, so with that, we have, like I mentioned, the SB8. We have the new Hut8, which is the power, uh, kind of like the juice power solution for that as well, uh, exclusive to Able Cine uh, here in the United States. But we're also showcasing things like the Sony FR7, which we love. It's that robotic pan tilt zoom camera with interchangeable lenses, full formats. Uh, we have that all kind of tied into our engineering base stations, which allow us to tie all these things back into one central point. And just like you would on a traditional production, uh, where you have the directors, producers, all the stakeholders looking at all the cameras during a live or live to tape shoot, we can do that you know, over a kilometer's worth of cable. So if you're in a big arena, but you want to have that big, cine big sensor cinematic look with cinema lenses, you know, that all these solutions are engineered to be able to do so for you. So here we are in front of our uh, Sony Venice 2 with the Fujinon Duvo, which is a 25 to 1,000 millimeter uh, T2.8 throughout the range. It does have a 1.5X tele extender as well. Uh, we do have these available through our rental department, and you would have seen this lens used on shows such as the Super Bowl halftime show uh, this year. There's only a few in the world, probably about a half a dozen really at this point, but we're really excited because it is, again, a big box format that a lot of the broadcasters are used to, but Super 35, uh, so you're able to cover the larger sensors for today's cinema cameras. So the cinematographers are happy because they're using the cameras and the optics that they like, but they have the reach that they need for a live or live to tape style environment, whether it be a sporting environment or a award show or something similar. It does an image stabilization as well, which again, is really important when you're talking about being in an arena where everyone's shaking because they're super happy and dancing uh, and celebrating a win. Uh, but yeah, this is the new Fujinon Duvo. This is the Alexa 35 that we're showing with the signature uh, zoom, 24 to 75, uh, 2.8. But we're also really showing and featuring in this uh, display is the new Silverback uh, Ape or SB Ape from Multidyne. This is part of the announcement for our platinum partnership in the United States, but we are exclusive to this uh, in the cinema space. Uh, this is a traditional Silverback 5 that we're all used to working with and comfortable with. Uh, introducing though the new 24 volt power solution. As today's cameras require more power, more juice, uh, whether it's auxiliary power or just the camera itself requires 24 volts. Uh, this is the new solution that allows us to send power and all of the video signals, uh, comm, return video, uh, gen lock, time code, et cetera, through the Silverback, but, uh, but most importantly, with power as well. So now a single ca cable solution using Simpty Hybrid allows us to power the whole rig uh, including all the signals that we just mentioned. So for multi-camera productions, this is really great because the utilities really only need to worry about stringing one camera to all the various camera positions. And of course, all the cinematographers, uh, you know, a lot of them really enjoy using this camera and this is sort of familiar territory to them. So 
the ability for them to pair their favorite lens and camera combination with what's really important for the broadcast side of things, especially in a live environment, uh, be able to do all that and send all those really important signals back and forth is really exciting to have on a single package. This is the uh, brand new Panasonic AK PLV100, which has a lot of the Vericam look that we all have come to learn and love. Uh, but what's really exciting about this is, although it looks like a traditional 2 3rd inch broadcast camera, this is actually a Super 35 PL mount camera uh, with uh, all the broadcast back end, including things like intercom, and again, all powered over Symphony Hybrid. It comes at a really attractive price point, which includes the body, the viewfinder, the EVF, uh, and the CCU or the base station that's required for this. So we're really excited about this as well, because for folks who need to deploy multiple cameras in a studio environment, uh, or who have a fleet of existing Panasonic cameras and have existing infrastructure, let's say they have their existing CCUs or paint boxes, this can be plug and play to a lot of those existing units. Uh, what's also very future forward looking, um, in addition to the fact that it has a Vericam look that we've all loved, it will support 2110 directly out of the body. Uh, you could also just do an SDI cable feed if you just want to kind of do a standard baseband video. We'll have a battery play option as well, so if you want to do ENG, although it doesn't record internally, like most uh, studio cameras, uh, we'll have a battery plate option so you then can be roaming and not tethered necessarily to a uh, long cable for power requirements. So again, the AKPLV100, really excited about, because it has a lot of the great looks and features from a Panasonic Vericam, but in a live, compatible uh, build and configuration. I'm actually standing here behind our Motion Impossible Agito, which is a modular robotic dolly system. We're actually showing here kind of a unique build, kind of a low mode for that really gorgeous sweeping shot with a really wide angle lens on our Alexa Mini LF. Uh, but the robotic dolly, uh, when we say modular, we mean that we can actually interchange a lot of the drive elements. So it could be on traditional hard track, where one might associate with a dolly. But what's really exciting about this is this is on something they call mag tracks. So if you can see, there is this magnetic tape Inexpensive, we treat it as expendables, but the magnetic tape is just taped down to the ground in a path that we predetermined. It could be carpeted over, you can put other surfaces on top if the art department doesn't want that visible in the shot, let's say. And this is literally just following that track that's predetermined. There are built-in safety parameters. There is a safety bumper, so if someone were to inadvertently walk in front of it and it detects that person, it will stop. Uh, but what's really great is the operator is actually, or the pilot, is actually able to, with the flip of a switch on the controller, take over. So if they get a call through the intercom, let's say the director's like, oh, that's great, but let's go over there instead, and it's not a predetermined path, all the operator has to do is flip a switch, resume manual control, it uses two-wheel or four-wheel steering, and living do a unique crab mode, but they can literally take that off of the track, follow the action, and then when they want to come back to it, the operator brings it back to where the magnetic track is hidden, flips the switch, re-engages mag track mode, and now it's back to that beautiful sweeping shot or whatever that predetermined shot might be. Uh, we have it again in low mode, but we can also put it into the tower, which allows us to go, uh, honestly, depending on the head you put on top of it, above seven feet. Uh, and I mentioned head, that it, it's head agnostic. We have it here with the Airy SRH360, but again, it'll take a a free fly Movi, it'll take a Ronin 2, it'll take uh, you know any sort of robotic uh, gimbal or PT style head. Um, it doesn't, um, you know, again, they're, they're head agnostic. So it's great that you have sort of all these options and again, being that it is so modular. Uh, if you put the right wheels on this, you can actually get it up to about 25 miles an hour. So if you are doing something a little bit faster than people walking, so like wildlife and such, you can really use it in that action uh, mode as well. So really great unique robotic dolly system from Motion Impossible.